Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's a little late. It's cause I slept like a baby. <laughs> All right, May 15th, day 127. Uh, Psalm 131, a song for pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem, a Psalm of David. Lord, my heart is not proud. My eyes are not haughty. I don't concern myself with the matters too great or too awesome for me to grasp. Instead, I have calmed and quieted myself like a weaned child I've no longer, who no longer cries for its mother's milk. Yes, like a weaned child, my soul is my soul within me. O oh, Israel, put your hope in the Lord now and always. Psalm 133, a song <clears throat> for pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem, a, song, a psalm of David. How wonderful and pleasant it is when brothers live in, together in harmony. For harmony is as precious as anointing oil that was poured over Aaron's head, that ran down his beard and onto the border of his robe. Harmony is as refreshing as the dew from Mount Hermon that falls on the mountains of Zion. And there the Lord has pronounced his blessing, even life everlasting. Psalm 138, a Psalm of David. I give you thanks, O Lord, with all my heart. I will sing your praises before the gods. I bow before your holy temple as I worship. I praise your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness, for your promises are backed by all the honor of your name. As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. Every king and all the earth will thank you, Lord, for all of them will hear your words. Yes, they will sing about the Lord's ways, for the glory of the Lord is very great. Though the Lord is great, he cares for the humble, but he keeps his distance from the proud. Though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me from the anger of my enemies. You reach out your hand, and the power of your right hand saves me. The Lord will work out his plans for my life. For your faithful love, O Lord, endures forever. Don't abandon me, for you made me. Something in my mouth. <laughs> Psalm 139 for the choir director. That's attractive, isn't it? That really adds to the whole... Bible devotion thing. <laughs> psalm 139 for the choir director, a psalm of David. It's still there. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I can't take it. Psalm 139 for the choir director, a Psalm of David. O Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I am going to say. Even before I say it, Lord, you go before me and follow me. Your place, you place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest ocean, even there your hands will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become my night. But even in darkness, sorry, I think my Wi-Fi is cutting in and out this morning. To you, the night shines as bright as the day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. 
Oh God, if only you would destroy the wicked. Get out of my life, you murderers. They blaspheme you. Your enemies misuse your name. Oh Lord, shouldn't I hate those who hate you? Shouldn't I despise those who oppose you? Yes, I hate them with total hatred, for your enemies are my enemies. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. I love that psalm. That is one of my absolute favorites. And I didn't even know it until I just read it. Psalm 140 for the choir director, a psalm of David. O oh Lord, rescue me from evil people. Protect me from those who are violent, those who plot evil in their hearts and stir up the trouble all day long. Their tongues sting like a snake. The venom of a viper drips from their lips. O oh Lord, keep me out of the hands of the wicked. Protect me from those who are violent, for they are plotting against me. The proud have set up a trap to catch me. They have stretched out a net. They have placed traps all along the way. I said to the Lord, you are my God. Listen, O Lord, to my cries for mercy. O sovereign Lord, the strong one who rescued me, you protected me on the day of battle. Lord, do not let the evil people have their way. Do not let their evil schemes succeed, or they will become proud. Let my enemies be destroyed, for the very evil they have planned for me. Let the burning coals fall down on their heads. Let them be thrown into the fire or into the watery pits from which they can't escape. Don't let liars prosper here in our land. Cause great disasters to fall on the violent. But I know the Lord will help those who persecute me. He will give the justice to the poor. Surely righteous people are praising your name. The godly will live in your presence. Psalm 141, a Psalm of David. O oh Lord, I am calling to you. Please hurry. Listen when I cry to you for help. Accept my prayer as incense offered to you and my un upraised hand as an evening offering. Take control of what I say, O oh Lord, and guard my lips. Don't let me drift toward evil or take part in acts of wickedness. Don't let me share in the delicacies of those who do wrong. Don't let, God's, the, don't let the godly strike me. It will be a kindness. If they correct me, it is soothing medicine. Don't let me refuse it. But I pray constantly against the wicked and their deeds. When their leaders are thrown down from a cliff and the wicked and when the when their leaders are thrown down from a cliff, the wicked will listen to my words and find them true. Like rocks brought up by a plow, the bones of the wicked will lie scattered without burial. I look for your I look to you for help, O sovereign Lord. You are my refuge. Don't let them kill me. Keep me from the traps they have set for me, from the snares of those who do wrong. But let the wicked fall into their own nets, but let me escape. Psalm 143, a Psalm of David. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my plea. Answer me because you are faithful and righteous. Don't put your servant on trial, for no one is innocent before you. My enemy has chased me. He has knocked me to the ground and forces me to live in the darkness like those in the grave. I am losing all hope. I am paralyzed with fear. I remember the days of old. I ponder all your great works and think about what you have done. I lift my hands to you in prayer. I thirst for you as parched land thirst for rain. Come quickly, Lord, and answer me, for my depression deepens. Don't turn away from me, or I will die. Let me hear of your unfailing love each morning, for I am trusting you. Show me where to walk, for I give myself to you. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I run to you to hide me. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your gracious spirit lead me forward on a firm footing. For the glory of your name, O Lord, preserve my life. Because of your faithfulness, bring me out of this distress. In your unfailing love, silence all my enemies and destroy, destroy my foes, for I am your servant. That's it. That is day 127. That was nothing. What was that? Eight minutes. Easy peasy. Except for almost choking it up. Okay. So... That's it for today in Treadmill Devotions. Thank you for listening in and following along. I hope that it's a blessing to you. I know it is to me. I am enjoying it so much. Um, so I am going to go upstairs. I am going to make myself like a protein type coffee for breakfast. Um, and I am going to make a pie this morning, a creamy, yummy pie that is a recipe I have made for years. It's not even a recipe. It's a thing I have made for years. I've just winged it. Um, 
and I'm going to THMify the recipe this morning. I've never done it, but I know it's going to come out just great. Do you read our oh, oh, do you read out of a daily book or just the Bible? Right now I'm just reading the um chronological Bible, Elizabeth. Is what I've been reading is the chronological Bible each day. Um so I'm going to make that pie, but before I can make that pie, I have to get all of this fixed. And I have to go to the grocery store <laughs> to buy the ingredients for said pie. So yes, I am going to video it, um, but it's going to be a little bit before I'm online making that pie because I have to go to the grocery store. We have friends coming for dinner tonight and, and I, ha I need ingredients for the pie. So I'll be on. It's probably going to be, if I had to guess, an hour to an hour and a half, maybe-ish. I don't know about. So I will be back um, and hopefully I'll see you there to make pie. So all right, guys. No, Christy. <laughs> I have company coming tonight. I need to look beautiful. Not just beautiful, but beautiful. <laughs> I have mineral salts on my list, Anne-Marie. <laughs> All right, you guys. So hopefully I'll see you in a little bit. Um, and if not, it will be on YouTube later. All right, guys. Love you all. Have a great Saturday. Bye.